guys, I was recently online and I was seeing a, uh, a news article that was written by CNBC, or at least that's the article that I came across, where it talked about WWE actually looking into betting on their scripted matches. And I would normally wait for Manny to do an episode like this when it involves wrestling, since he's more of the wrestling person that's on the show. But hey, I got these two guys here, so I figured let's go ahead and talk about it since I'm by myself anyway. Well, maybe not by myself, because they're here with me too. Now, the way it states is that they're actually working with some accounting firm to see if they can get it legalized to bet on scripted matches. Now, I know what you may be saying is like, how can we bet on something that's scripted when the outcome is already predetermined? Well, there actually is betting allowed for the Oscars uh, where you can bet on who's going to win a specific award, which kind of made me think that is this possibly doable? Now, full disclosure, me and my friends will actually do kind of run a pot every time that there's a Royal Rumble or a Battle Royale. Uh, obviously, if you're not a wrestling fan, it's when all the members come in and, you know, one of the people, they all kind of fight it out within the ring and one person kind of turns out to be the winner. So we kind of bet on that by betting on like numbers of the person that comes and enters the ring. If that number wins the whole thing, then you win a pot. So for us, it actually does work when betting on wrestling. Even though the outcome is already scripted, we don't know because we're just picking numbers and we just hope the number of the person who's scripted to win is the one that wins. Now, WWE is stating is that they want to kind of do it the way the Oscars is doing it, where the Oscars keeps the winners under lock and key and we don't know until they're actually announced. Now, the way they're going to do it with wrestling, since both wrestlers kind of know, they're actually going to wait until the day of the match to let them know who's actually going to be the winner. So that way, it's less chance of them actually having that information leak out. Though, I kind of push back on that because there's a lot of people in the writer's room. And it seems that like that would be a hard thing to do when there's a lot of wrestling blogs that kind of spoil a whole bunch of events and matches ahead of time. So I'm not sure that this is actually going to work that way. Or would they just randomly change it? Or what if the wrestler finds out and they get told the day of and then they text somebody. It's like, hey, make sure you put like a million dollars on me because I'm going to win tonight in this match. So it doesn't seem feasible in that way. I mean, our ways, because I thought of it uh, or we thought of it together, uh, seems to be the best way to work at it. But it is something that they're looking into. Now, I did see on there which said that in, sorry, I'm looking at my notes, that um, that one, oh, Colorado actually prohibits you betting on any type of event that's scripted or predicted. So they definitely wouldn't be able to do this in Colorado, but they may be able to do this with online gambling. So we, won't, we probably won't see this in a casino, but we may see it with like a DraftKings or something. I think it's more along the lines of where they're looking to do this at. Now, I know you guys who are really thinking that this can happen or saying like, hey, why not bet on this? Because most sporting events are already scripted. Yes, I know your team lost to a team that they felt like they should have beaten. Here we go. Hurts has all day. Now some rushers come. Going to throw it as far as his arm can take it, which is well short. And the Kansas City Chiefs have won Super Bowl 57. But that doesn't mean that they were scripted. It just means your team sucks. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below. So uh, let me know if you feel like this can work or the reasons why it can't work. And if you think it can work, tell me the reasons why it can work. Since I am the only one here with two mannequin heads that represent wrestlers, uh, chocolate salsa, I need your help in how to work this out. So let's get a conversation started in the comments below. And if this is the first time that you're on the channel, make sure you subscribe as well as click the notification button. So that way you're aware of all the other videos that we do on the channel. Uh, if you want to see Dropcake and a Beauty come back, please let me know that in the comments too. If you want to help out the channel, make sure you go get some merch. This is our new t-shirt, our G.I. Joe-inspired goods podcast t-shirt. It's on Teespring and is also available on Amazon. So make sure you look at the links in the description below and go out and get one. So with that being said, you guys take care. Wait, guys, are you still here? I'm glad you're still here. All right, so if you look down, I mean, it's somewhere over here. Look now, we actually have a Patreon. So if you guys watch the show and you really like what we want to do and you want to help support the show and you want to help me get an editor so I can get to sleep at night because I'm really tired and you guys see all my mistakes in the episodes. So please go to patreon.com forward slash the goods. Give us a penny, give us a nickel, give us a dollar. Tell Just us, don't give us a finger. Don't do that. But make sure you do donate something because we do have some giveaways. There's posters, there's t-shirts. There's I'll uh, sign something for you. Exactly. So uh, take a look, guys, and uh, help us out. We appreciate it.